Top 50 Most Predicted Guaranteed IELTS Speaking Cue Cards for the 2024 Exam Must Prepare for Guaranteed Success with an 8 to 9 Band Score. Presented by IELTS Solution with Purveen Sir. Describe an invention that is useful in daily life. What the invention is. How it works. How it has changed people's lives. Explain why you find it useful in your daily life. What the invention is. Smartphone, multifunctional, handheld device, phone, internet, apps. How it works calls, messages, internet access, apps, GPS, touchscreen, processor, connectivity. How it has changed people's lives. Communication, instant, global, remote work, virtual meetings, online education, learning apps. Why you find it useful in your daily life. Organized, calendar, reminders, connected, calls, messaging, entertainment, learning, indispensable. In today's fast-paced world, inventions play a crucial role in shaping our daily lives, making them more convenient and efficient. One such invention that I find incredibly useful is the smartphone. A smartphone is a multifunctional handheld device that combines the features of a phone and internet access, along with a variety of apps. It allows you to make calls, send messages, browse the internet, and use various apps. It operates through a touchscreen, a powerful processor, and connectivity features like GPS. This invention has revolutionized communication by making it instant and global, allowing people to connect from anywhere. It has also transformed the way we work, enabling remote work and virtual meetings, and has had a profound impact on education through online classes and learning apps. Personally, I find the smartphone indispensable in my daily life. It helps me stay organized with its calendar and reminder functions, keeps me connected with my family and friends through calls and messaging apps, and provides entertainment through music, videos, and games. Moreover, it serves as a powerful tool for learning, allowing me to access information on the go and even study languages using specialized apps. In conclusion, the smartphone is an invention that has not only changed the way we communicate but also the way we live and work. Its versatility and convenience make it an essential part of my daily routine, and I believe it's a prime example of how technology can positively influence our lives. Describe a character from a movie. Who the character is. Which movie they are from. What role they play in the movie. Explain why this character stands out to you. Who the character is. Jack Dawson, a free-spirited artist with a charismatic personality. Which movie they are from movie Titanic, historical-based movie on the tragic sinking of the ship. What role they play in the movie Jack Dawson is a leading actor who falls in love with Rose and plays a crucial part in navigating the challenges during the ship's disaster. Explain why this character stands out to you the thing impressed Jack's character his charisma, bravery, and the depth of his relationship with Rose, making him a compelling and memorable figure. Blockbuster films often have characters that leave a lasting impact on the story and the audience. One such character is Jack Dawson, played a lead role in Titanic. Jack Dawson is a free-spirited and adventurous artist who wins a ticket to board the RMS Titanic. The movie, directed by James Cameron and released in 1997, is set during the tragic sinking of the Titanic in 1912. Jack's character plays a crucial role in the film, as his journey is woven into both the historical events and a personal love story. In Titanic, Jack is a poor artist who falls deeply in love with Rose DeWitt Bucator, a young woman from a wealthy family. Despite the differences in their social status, Jack's lively personality and genuine charm win Rose's heart. His bravery and quick thinking are key during the ship's disaster, as he helps Rose through the chaos and ensures her safety. What makes Jack Dawson stand out is his infectious charisma and unshakable courage. His famous line, I'm the king of the world, captures his love for life and adventurous spirit. 
Jack's role goes beyond just a romantic lead, it showcases his selflessness and bravery in the face of tragedy. His actions and the deep emotional connection he forms with Rose make him an unforgettable and inspiring character. In conclusion, Jack Dawson's portrayal in Titanic is memorable because of his charm, bravery, and the strong bond he shares with Rose. His character adds depth and emotion to the film, making him a truly impactful figure in cinema. Describe a memorable journey you took, where you went, how you traveled, what you saw during the journey. Explain why this journey was memorable. Where you went Dubai, UAE, known for its modern architecture, luxury shopping, and vibrant culture. How you traveled flew to Dubai by plane, enjoyed the comfort of air travel and excitement upon arrival. What you saw during the journey. Iconic landmarks like Burj Khalifa, Palm Jumeirah, Dubai Mall, and traditional souks. Explain why this journey was memorable. First time in the Middle East, experiencing the blend of modernity and tradition, and the diverse activities. One of the most memorable journeys I took was a trip to Dubai, a city that truly dazzles with its blend of modernity and tradition. I traveled to Dubai by plane, departing from my hometown and flying directly to Dubai International Airport. The flight was smooth, and as we began our descent, I was filled with excitement. The sight of the city's towering skyscrapers coming into view, especially the iconic Burj Khalifa, was absolutely breathtaking. During my stay in Dubai, I visited some of the city's most famous landmarks. The Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world, offered an unforgettable view from its observation deck. I also explored the Palm Jumeirah, an artificial island shaped like a palm tree, which is home to luxury hotels and beautiful beaches. The Dubai Mall was another highlight, where I experienced not just shopping but also the spectacular Dubai Fountain Show. I also made sure to visit the traditional souks, where the vibrant atmosphere and rich cultural heritage of the UAE were on full display. This journey was memorable for several reasons. It was my first time visiting the Middle East, and I was fascinated by the seamless blend of cutting-edge architecture and traditional culture. Dubai's unique combination of modern luxury and rich heritage made every moment special. The variety of activities, from exploring futuristic buildings to wandering through historic markets, provided an unforgettable experience that was both diverse and enriching. In conclusion, my trip to Dubai stands out as a remarkable journey because of the city's awe-inspiring architecture, its mix of old and new, and the many exciting experiences I had. It's a destination that left a lasting impression on me, and I would love to visit again. Describe a piece of clothing you wear most often. What the clothing item is. Where you got it. When you wear it. Explain why you wear it often and what it means to you. What the clothing item is a favorite t-shirt, pair of jeans. Where you got it bought from a store, received as a gift. When you wear it usually wear it, as a casual outings, at home. Explain why you wear it often and what it means to you comfortable, wear on a regular basis. One piece of clothing that I wear most often is my favorite pair of jeans. They are a classic blue, straight-cut pair of jeans that I've had for a couple of years now. I bought these jeans from a well-known clothing store in my city during a seasonal sale. At the time, I was looking for something comfortable and durable that I could wear on a regular basis. These jeans caught my eye because of their simple yet stylish design, and they fit me perfectly when I tried them on. I wear these jeans almost everywhere. They are my go-to choice for casual outings, whether I'm meeting friends, running errands, or even just lounging at home. I also like to pair them with different tops and jackets, making them versatile for various occasions and weather conditions. The reason I wear these jeans so often is because they are incredibly comfortable and go well with almost anything in my wardrobe. Over time, they've become softer and more comfortable, making them a staple in my daily attire. Additionally, they hold sentimental value because they've been with me through many memorable moments and adventures. Every time I wear them, I feel at ease and confident. In conclusion, 
My favorite pair of jeans is more than just a piece of clothing, it's something that represents comfort, versatility, and a bit of nostalgia. It's the item I reach for most often because it makes me feel good, no matter where I'm going or what I'm doing. Describe an object that you think is beautiful. What the object is. Where you saw or got it. What it looks like. Explain why you think it is beautiful. What the object is. A piece of art flower base. Where you saw or got it at a market. What it looks like deep blue and white color, with floral pattern. Explain why you tea showing the skill and creativity of the artisan. One object that I think is truly beautiful is a handcrafted ceramic vase that I have in my living room. I came across this vase while visiting a local artisan market during a trip to a small town known for its pottery. As I walked through the market, this vase immediately caught my attention with its elegant design and vibrant colors. The vase is about a foot tall, with a smooth, rounded shape that narrows slightly at the top. It is painted in shades of deep blue and white, with intricate floral patterns that spiral around its body. The glaze gives it a glossy finish, making the colors appear even more vivid when the light hits it just right. The craftsmanship is exquisite, with each detail carefully molded and painted by hand. I find this vase beautiful for several reasons. First, the artistry involved in creating it is remarkable, the patterns are delicate and intricate, showing the skill and creativity of the artisan. The color combination is also striking, evoking a sense of calm and elegance. Additionally, this vase has sentimental value because it reminds me of the peaceful town where I found it and the wonderful experiences I had there. In conclusion, this ceramic vase is not just an object of decoration but a piece of art that brings beauty and meaning into my home. Its craftsmanship, colors, and the memories associated with it make it a truly beautiful object in my eyes. Describe a subject you enjoyed studying at school. What the subject was. Why you enjoyed it. How the teacher influenced you. Explain how it helped you in your life. What the subject was history. Why you enjoyed it it allowed me to explore different cultures, events, and people from the past. How the teacher influenced you. Effective method of teaching, make each lesson engaging and memorable. Explain how it helped you in your life a broader perspective on current events, understanding that many of today's issues have roots in the past. One subject I particularly enjoyed studying at school was history. I found history fascinating because it allowed me to explore different cultures, events, and people from the past. It was like traveling through time, uncovering stories that shaped the world we live in today. I was especially interested in learning about ancient civilizations, wars, and how societies evolved over the centuries. A big reason why I enjoyed history so much was because of my teacher, Mr. Sharma. He had a unique way of bringing historical events to life. Rather than just reading from the textbook, he would tell us stories, show us documentaries, and even organize role-playing activities where we could act out significant historical events. His passion for the subject was contagious, and he made each lesson engaging and memorable. Mr. Sharma also encouraged us to think critically about the past and its connection to the present, which deepened my interest in the subject. Studying history has helped me in various ways. It developed my research and analytical skills, as I often had to dig deeper into topics and form my own interpretations. It also gave me a broader perspective on current events, understanding that many of today's issues have roots in the past. This knowledge has been valuable in both my personal life and my education, helping me become more informed and thoughtful about the world around me. In conclusion, History was a subject I truly enjoyed because of its rich content and the inspiring way it was taught by Mr. Sharma. The skills and knowledge I gained from studying history have had a lasting impact on my life, making it a subject I will always appreciate. Describe an environmental problem in your country. What the problem is. How it affects people. What causes it. Explain what could be done to solve it. What the problem is air pollution. 
how it affects people health issues, reduced quality of life, environmental harm. What causes it industrial emissions, vehicle exhaust, burning of fossil fuels, deforestation. Explain what could be done to solve it. Stricter regulations, green energy, public transport, reforestation. One of the most significant environmental issues in my country is air pollution. Air pollution is a serious problem, especially in urban areas. It leads to various health issues, including respiratory problems like asthma and bronchitis. Moreover, it lowers the overall quality of life as people are forced to stay indoors during periods of heavy pollution. The environment also suffers, with polluted air causing damage to plants and animals, disrupting entire ecosystems. The primary causes of air pollution are industrial emissions, vehicle exhaust, the burning of fossil fuels, and deforestation. Factories and vehicles release large amounts of pollutants into the atmosphere, while the widespread use of coal and other fossil fuels for energy production worsens the situation. Additionally, deforestation reduces the number of trees that can absorb carbon dioxide, allowing more pollutants to linger in the air. To address this issue, stricter regulations on industrial emissions and vehicle exhaust are necessary. Promoting the use of green energy, such as solar and wind power, can reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. Encouraging public transportation and reforestation efforts can also significantly improve air quality. In conclusion, air pollution is a major environmental challenge, but with the right actions, we can create a cleaner and healthier environment for everyone. Describe a piece of advice you received. Who gave you the advice? What the advice was. How it impacted you. Explain why you found it helpful. Who gave you the advice my father. What the advice was focus on what you can control. How it impacted you reduced stress, improved decision making. Explain why you found it helpful helped me stay calm and productive in difficult situations. One of the most valuable pieces of advice I ever received came from my father. He once told me, focus on what you can control. At the time, I was stressed about various things that were out of my hands, like other people's opinions and unpredictable events. My father's advice made me realize that worrying about these things was not only unproductive but also mentally exhausting. This advice had a significant impact on me. It helped me reduce stress by shifting my focus to the things I could actually influence, like my own actions and decisions. This change in perspective improved my decision-making process because I was no longer distracted by factors I couldn't change. As a result, I became more confident and effective in handling challenges. I found this advice incredibly helpful because it brought a sense of calm and clarity into my life. Whenever I face a difficult situation now, I remind myself to concentrate on what I can control and let go of the rest. This mindset has not only made me more resilient but has also contributed to my overall well-being. Describe a family celebration you attended. What the celebration was. Who was there. What you did at the celebration. Explain why this celebration was special. What the celebration was my cousin's wedding. Who was their close family members, relatives, and friends. What you did at the celebration. Participated in rituals, enjoyed food, danced. Explain why this celebration was special family reunion, cultural traditions, emotional significance. One memorable family celebration I attended was my cousin's wedding. The celebration took place at a beautiful venue, and it was a grand affair. All of our close family members, along with relatives and friends, were there to join in the festivities. It was a wonderful opportunity to reconnect with everyone, especially since some of our relatives live far away and we don't get to see them often. During the wedding, I participated in several traditional rituals, which were not only meaningful but also a lot of fun. The food was another highlight, with a wide variety of delicious dishes that everyone enjoyed. After the formalities, we all hit the dance floor, 
and it was a joyful experience to dance together and celebrate the union of the bride and groom. What made this celebration particularly special was the strong sense of family and togetherness. It wasn't just about the wedding itself, but also about the reunion of our family members. Sharing this important event with them and being part of the cultural traditions made it an emotionally significant and unforgettable experience. The joy, laughter, and love that filled the atmosphere truly made it a celebration to remember. Describe a famous person you admire. Who the person is. What they are famous for. How you learned about them. Explain why you admire them. Who the person is Barack Obama. What they are famous for. Former President of the United States, first African American president. How you learned about them news, speeches, books, documentaries. Explain why you admire them. Leadership, eloquence, dedication to social justice, inspirational figure. One famous person I deeply admire is Barack Obama. Barack Obama is best known for being the 44th President of the United States and the first African American to hold this office. His presidency marked a significant moment in history, symbolizing progress in the fight against racial inequality. Obama is also renowned for his eloquent speeches, thoughtful policies, and his efforts to promote social justice and equality. I first learned about Obama through news coverage during his presidential campaigns in 2008. His speeches were powerful and inspiring, filled with messages of hope and change. Over the years, I've also read some of his books, such as The Audacity of Hope and A Promised Land, which offer deeper insights into his life, values, and vision for a better world. I admire Barack Obama for several reasons. His leadership style is marked by calmness, intelligence, and a deep sense of responsibility. He faced numerous challenges during his presidency, including economic crises and international conflicts, yet he consistently approached these issues with grace and determination. Additionally, his commitment to social justice and his ability to inspire people across the globe make him a truly remarkable figure. Obama's journey, from his humble beginnings to becoming one of the most influential leaders in the world, is a testament to his resilience and dedication, and it continues to inspire me and many others. Cue card describe a situation when you helped someone. You should say, what was the situation where you helped someone? How did you come to know about the need for help? What did you do to help? What was the outcome of your help? What was the situation where you helped someone? A friend struggling with a difficult project deadline. How did you come to know about the need for help? Friend expressed stress and frustration during a conversation. What did you do to help? Offered assistance in organizing tasks, shared resources, and provided moral support. What was the outcome of your help? Friend completed the project successfully and expressed immense gratitude. One situation where I helped someone was when my friend was struggling with a difficult project deadline at work. It was a particularly challenging time for her, and she was feeling overwhelmed and stressed out. I came to know about her need for help during a casual conversation. We were catching up over coffee, and she expressed her frustration and anxiety about the looming deadline. She mentioned that she was finding it hard to organize her tasks and manage her time effectively. Seeing her distress, I decided to offer my assistance. First, I helped her break down the project into smaller, manageable tasks. We created a detailed schedule together, prioritizing the most critical aspects of the project. I also shared some useful resources and tools that I had used in similar situations. Additionally, I provided moral support, regularly checking in with her to offer encouragement and ensure she was staying on track. The outcome of my help was very positive. My friend was able to complete the project on time and with a high standard of quality. She expressed immense gratitude for my support, saying that the guidance and encouragement had made a significant difference. This experience not only strengthened our friendship but also gave me a great sense of satisfaction, knowing that I had made a positive impact on someone's life. Describe a sports person that you admire. You should say, 
who the person is, what sport does he or she do, when did you first hear about this person, why do you admire him or her, who the person is Sonia Mirza, what sports plays, tennis, when did you first hear about this person, early 2000s during her rise in international tennis, why do you admire him or her, trailblazer for Indian tennis, exceptional skill, resilience, inspiring role model. One sports person I deeply admire is Sonia Mirza. She is an iconic Indian tennis player who has significantly impacted the world of sports, particularly in India. I first heard about Sonia Mirza in the early 2000s when she started making waves in international tennis. Her remarkable performance in various tournaments quickly brought her into the spotlight. The reasons I admire Sonia Mirza are numerous. Firstly, she is a trailblazer for Indian tennis. Before Sonia, tennis was not a prominent sport in India, especially for women. Her success on the international stage has inspired many young athletes in the country to take up the sport and pursue it professionally. Moreover, her exceptional skill and determination are truly commendable. Sonia has won numerous titles, including six Grand Slam titles in doubles and mixed doubles. Her powerful forehand and aggressive playing style have earned her accolades and respect from her peers and fans worldwide. Additionally, Sonia Mirza has shown remarkable resilience throughout her career. She has faced several injuries that could have ended her career, but her determination and love for the game have always brought her back to the court. Her journey and achievements continue to inspire millions around the world, including myself. Describe an unusual holiday you had. You should say. What holiday was it? Who were you with? What did you do? Explain why it was unusual. Describe a road trip. What holiday was it? A road trip through remote villages. Who were you with? Friends from college. What did you do? Explored rural areas, interacted with locals, participated in traditional activities. Why was it unusual? Off the beaten path, lack of modern amenities, unique cultural experiences. One unusual holiday I had was a road trip through remote villages. This was a unique and memorable experience that deviated significantly from the typical beach or city vacations. I went on this holiday with a group of friends from college. We were all adventurous and eager to explore places that were off the beaten path. Instead of heading to a popular tourist destination, we decided to travel through several rural areas in our country. During the trip, we did a lot of interesting activities. We explored picturesque villages, interacted with the locals, and participated in their traditional activities. For instance, we helped in farming, learned to cook local dishes, and even joined in on a village festival where we danced and sang along with the residents. The experience was incredibly immersive and gave us a deep appreciation for the rural lifestyle. This holiday was unusual for several reasons. Firstly, it was completely unplanned and spontaneous. We had no fixed itinerary and decided our next stop based on the recommendations of the locals we met along the way. Secondly, the lack of modern amenities made it challenging but also more authentic. We stayed in simple homestays, often without internet or hot water, which was a stark contrast to the comfortable accommodations we're used to. Finally, the cultural experiences were unlike anything we had encountered before. Engaging directly with the villagers and experiencing their way of life was both eye-opening and humbling. In conclusion, this unusual holiday was a refreshing break from the norm. It allowed us to connect with a different way of life and created lasting memories that we still cherish. It reminded us of the beauty of simplicity and the importance of appreciating diverse cultures. Talk about an interesting old person you met recently. You should say, Who is this person? How did you meet him? How do you know him? What do you do with this person? Why did you find this person interesting? Talk about an interesting old person you met recently. Who is this person? Mr. Johnson, a retired history teacher. How did you meet him? At a local library event. How do you know him? Introduced by a mutual friend. What do you do with this person? Talk about history, attend his storytelling sessions. Why did you find this person interesting? His vast knowledge, 
captivating storytelling, and unique life experiences. An interesting old person I met recently is Mr. Johnson, a retired history teacher. I met him at a local library event where he was giving a talk about local history. I was introduced to Mr. Johnson by a mutual friend who knew I enjoyed learning about history. Right away, I was impressed by his vast knowledge and passion for the subject. I got to know Mr. Johnson better over several visits to his home. He often hosts storytelling sessions where he shares fascinating stories from history. These sessions are popular in our community, and people of all ages come to listen to him. Mr. Johnson's storytelling is captivating. He makes history come alive with his vivid descriptions and personal anecdotes. He has traveled a lot and has many interesting stories from his journeys. His enthusiasm for history is contagious, and he makes learning fun. I find Mr. Johnson interesting because he has so much knowledge and shares it in an engaging way. Meeting him has inspired me to learn more about history and appreciate the past. Describe something in your country that you are interested in. You should say. What is it? How do you know about it? Why you are interested in it? Explain whether you would like to know more about it. What is it? Traditional folk music. How do you know about it? Through cultural events, music classes. Why are you interested in it? Fascinated by cultural heritage, love for music. Whether you would like to know more about it? Yes, to deepen understanding, explore different styles. What is it? One thing in my country that I'm really interested in is traditional folk music. How do you know about it? I've learned about traditional folk music through attending cultural events and taking music classes where they often teach about our cultural heritage and different music styles. Why are you interested in it? I'm fascinated by our cultural heritage, and traditional folk music is such an integral part of it. The rhythms, melodies, and stories behind the songs captivate me. Plus, I've always had a love for music, so delving into our traditional folk music feels like connecting with my roots while enjoying something I'm passionate about. Whether you would like to know more about it? Absolutely. There's so much depth and variety within traditional folk music, with different regions having their own unique styles and instruments. I'd love to explore more about the history, significance, and various subgenres of traditional folk music in my country to deepen my understanding and appreciation for this rich cultural heritage. Describe a person you enjoyed working or studying with. You should say who this person is, when you worked or studied together, what you did together, and explain why you enjoyed working or studying with this person. Who this person is Sarah, former colleague when you worked or studied together. 2021 to 2023, at Marketing Sales. What you did together developed marketing strategy, conducted market research, brainstormed campaigns, presented to senior management. Why you enjoyed working or studying with this person exceptional communication, positive attitude, creativity, attention to detail, complementary skills, productive environment. Introduction. In my professional journey, I have had the privilege of working with many talented individuals. One person who stands out as a particularly enjoyable colleague is Sarah, a former team member at Marketing Sales. Our collaboration spanned from 2021 to 2023, during which we tackled several challenging and rewarding projects together. Sarah was a marketing specialist in our team, known for her innovative ideas and exceptional ability to communicate effectively. We worked closely from 2021 to 2023 during our time at Marketing Sales. One of the most significant projects we collaborated on was the development of a comprehensive marketing strategy for a new product launch. Our tasks included conducting extensive market research to understand consumer needs and preferences, brainstorming creative marketing campaigns, and finally presenting our findings and strategies to the senior management team. Working with Sarah was a highly enjoyable and enriching experience for several reasons. Firstly, her exceptional communication skills ensured that our team remained on the same page, minimizing misunderstandings and fostering a collaborative environment. Secondly, her positive attitude and can-do mindset were incredibly motivating, especially during challenging phases of the project. 
Moreover, Sarah's creativity and attention to detail perfectly complemented my strengths, allowing us to produce high-quality work efficiently. Her openness to feedback and willingness to assist others created a supportive and productive atmosphere, making our collaboration not only effective but also enjoyable. In conclusion, Sarah's combination of professional skills and positive personal attributes made her an ideal colleague. Our successful collaboration on various projects is a testament to the power of effective teamwork, and I truly enjoyed and valued the time we worked together. Describe your favorite toy in your childhood. You should say. What it was. Who gave it to you? How often you played with it in your childhood. Describe your favorite toy in your childhood. What it was. Small red car, wind-up toy, sleek design, shiny wheels, realistic look. Who gave it to you? Father, around six years old, cherished gift. How often you played. Every day after school, weekends, favorite toy, everywhere. Why it was favorite. Special gift, love for cars, best toy, impressive design and quality, endless entertainment, creativity. Introduction of a toy from childhood. Childhood memories are always special, and I think toys play an important role in shaping those memories. One of my favorite toys during my childhood was a small red car, and I am so glad that I've been given the opportunity to talk about this special toy for this excellent topic. I would like to thank you for that. What it was. The toy was a small red car that could be operated by winding it up. It had a sleek design with shiny wheels, and it could move quickly on any surface. The car was made of metal and had a clear glass front, which gave it a very realistic look. This was a car that I never wanted to lose and kept literally near my heart. Who gave it to you? My father gave me this toy when I was around six years old. He saw how much I loved playing with cars and knew I would cherish it. How often you played with it in your childhood. I played with this toy car every day after school and on weekends. It was my favorite toy, and I would take it everywhere with me. I would make different tracks and roads on the floor and race it around the house. Overall why it was your favorite toy in your childhood. There were several reasons why this toy car was my favorite. Firstly, it was a gift from my father on my sixth birthday, which made it very special to me. Secondly, I loved playing with cars, and this one was the best one I had. Moreover, the design and quality of the toy were very impressive, and it could perform well on any surface. Finally, it provided me with endless hours of entertainment and allowed me to use my imagination to create different scenarios and stories. It was not just a toy, but a source of joy, creativity, and inspiration for me. Describe a person who has had a significant impact on your life. You should say. Who the person is. How you know this person. How they have influenced you. Explain why you think this person has had such a significant impact on your life. Describe a person who has had a significant impact on your life. You should say, hints. Who the person is, choose someone close to you, like a family member, friend, mentor, or teacher. How you know this person. Choose someone close to you, like a family member, friend, mentor, or teacher. How you know this person. Explain your relationship, e.g., family member, grandmother, friend, childhood friend. How they have influenced you. Explain your relationship, e.g., family member, grandmother, friend, childhood friend. How they have influenced you. Describe specific ways they impacted your life positively, e.g., taught skills, provided support. Why you think this person has had a significant impact on your life. Reflect on their qualities or actions that left a lasting impression on you. Introduction. I'd like to talk about someone who has had a profound impact on my life, my grandmother. She has been a guiding force and a constant source of support throughout my upbringing. From imparting wisdom to providing unwavering love, her influence has shaped many aspects of my life. Who the person is. My grandmother, whom I affectionately call Nana is the pillar of our family. 
Her gentle demeanor and compassionate nature have always made her a cherished figure in my life. In the accompanying photograph, she radiates warmth and wisdom, embodying the values she instilled in me. How I know this person. Growing up, I spent countless weekends with Nana, listening to her stories and learning invaluable life lessons. Our bond strengthened through shared moments captured in photos, baking together in her kitchen, gardening in her backyard, and celebrating family milestones. How she has influenced me. Nana's influence transcends mere memories, she has taught me resilience in the face of adversity and the importance of kindness. In the photos where she patiently guides me through challenges or celebrates my achievements, her belief in my potential has been a constant source of motivation. Why she has had a significant impact on my life. Her unconditional love and unwavering support have shaped my values and aspirations. Each picture symbolizes moments where her guidance and encouragement propelled me forward, whether in academics, personal growth, or navigating life's complexities. Describe a sports person you like or admire. You should say who this sports person is, what sports he or she plays, how successful he or she is, and explain why you like or admire this sports person so much. Who this sports person is. Sonia Mirza. Indian tennis player, born in Mumbai, raised in Hyderabad. What sports he or she plays? Tennis. Known for singles and doubles, especially successful in doubles and mixed doubles. How successful he or she is. Six Grand Slam titles in doubles and mixed doubles. Former world number one in WTA doubles. Explain why you like or admire this sports person so much. Determination, resilience, sportsmanship. Promoted tennis among women in India, broke barriers. Memorable moment, winning the 2015 Wimbledon doubles title. One sports person I greatly admire is Sonia Mirza. Sonia is an Indian tennis player, born in Mumbai and raised in Hyderabad. She is well known for her success in both singles and doubles categories, with a particular focus on doubles and mixed doubles. Sonia has achieved remarkable success in her career, winning six Grand Slam titles in doubles and mixed doubles. She also reached the world number one ranking in WTA doubles, the first Indian woman to do so. Her impressive list of accolades includes numerous WTA titles and representing India in multiple Olympics. I admire Sonia Mirza for her determination, resilience, and sportsmanship. Despite facing many challenges, including injuries and societal pressures, she has consistently excelled. She has been a trailblazer for Indian women in sports, promoting tennis and breaking barriers. One memorable moment was her victory at the 2015 Wimbledon Championships in women's doubles, fulfilling a lifelong dream. Sonia's achievements and positive influence on sports and society make her a true inspiration both on and off the court. Describe a hobby or activity you enjoy. You should say what the hobby slash activity is when and how you started doing it, how it benefits you personally. Explain why you find this hobby slash activity enjoyable or fulfilling. What the hobby slash activity is. Gardening involves cultivating and nurturing plants, flowers, and sometimes vegetables and herbs. When and how you started doing it. Started about three years ago, moved into a house with a small backyard, began with a few potted plants, gradually expanded. How it benefits you personally. Stress reliever, improves physical health, provides a sense of accomplishment. Explain why you find this hobby slash activity enjoyable or fulfilling. Connects with nature, offers a creative outlet, teaches patience and care, rewarding to see growth and results. One hobby I thoroughly enjoy is gardening. Gardening involves cultivating and nurturing plants, flowers, and sometimes even vegetables and herbs. I started gardening about three years ago. It all began when I moved into a house with a small backyard. Initially, I wanted to improve the look of the space, so I started with a few potted plants. Over time, as I learned more about different plants and gardening techniques, 
my interest grew, and I gradually transformed my backyard into a beautiful garden. Gardening benefits me personally in several ways. Firstly, it is a great stress reliever. Spending time outdoors and working with plants helps me relax and unwind. Secondly, it has improved my physical health. Gardening involves a fair amount of physical activity, such as digging, planting, and weeding, which keeps me active. Lastly, it provides a sense of accomplishment. Watching the plants grow and bloom, knowing that I played a part in their development, gives me immense satisfaction. I find gardening enjoyable and fulfilling for several reasons. It connects me with nature and allows me to appreciate the beauty and intricacies of plant life. It also offers a creative outlet, as I get to design and organize my garden in different ways. Moreover, the process of nurturing plants and seeing the results of my efforts is incredibly rewarding. It's a hobby that constantly teaches me patience, care, and the joy of seeing something flourish. Overall, gardening is a hobby that brings me joy, relaxation, and a sense of fulfillment, making it an integral part of my life. Describe a memorable trip you took. Where you went. Who you went with. What you did. Why it was memorable. Where you went. Dubai, United Arab Emirates, known for modern architecture, luxury shopping, lively nightlife. Who you went with, with family, last winter. What you did, visited Burj Khalifa, explored Dubai Mall and Dubai Aquarium, desert safari, dune bashing, camel riding, Bedouin dinner, boat tour around Palm Jumeirah. Why it was memorable. Futuristic skyline and luxurious attractions, variety of activities, shopping, sightseeing, adventure, culture, warm hospitality, quality time with family creating unforgettable memories. One of the most memorable trips I have ever taken was to Dubai. Dubai is a vibrant city in the United Arab Emirates known for its modern architecture, luxury shopping, and lively nightlife. I went to Dubai with my family last winter. We decided to take this trip to escape the cold weather at home and experience a new and exciting destination together. During our trip, we did many amazing things. We visited the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world, and enjoyed breathtaking views of the city from the observation deck. We also explored the Dubai Mall, which is one of the largest shopping malls globally, and visited the Dubai Aquarium and Underwater Zoo located inside the mall. Another highlight was our visit to the Desert Safari, where we experienced dune bashing, camel riding, and a traditional Bedouin-style dinner under the stars. We also took a boat tour around the Palm Jumeirah, which offered stunning views of the iconic Atlantis Hotel. This trip was memorable for several reasons. Firstly, Dubai's futuristic skyline and luxurious attractions were unlike anything we had seen before, making every moment feel special. Secondly, the variety of activities available catered to everyone's interests, from shopping and sightseeing to adventure sports and cultural experiences. Additionally, the warm and welcoming hospitality we received made the trip even more enjoyable. Finally, spending quality time with my family in such an extraordinary place created unforgettable memories that we still cherish. Overall, the combination of Dubai's unique attractions, diverse activities, and the joy of experiencing it all with my family made this trip truly memorable. Describe a special meal you had. What the meal was. Where you had it. Who you were with. Why it was special. What it is. Popular pizza restaurant, known for delicious pizzas and lively atmosphere. When you went there. Last weekend. What you did there. Went with friends, ordered a variety of pizzas, margarita, pepperoni, veggie supreme, tried garlic bread and side dishes, enjoyed the meal, chatted, and laughed. Explain why you feel it is a noisy place. Constant buzz of conversations from diners, open kitchen with chefs calling out orders, sounds of pizza making, dough tossing, ovens, background music adding to the lively atmosphere. One noisy place I have been to is a popular pizza restaurant in the heart of the city. 
This place is well known for its delicious pizzas and lively atmosphere. I went to this pizza restaurant last weekend with a group of friends. We decided to catch up over dinner and chose this spot because we had heard great things about their wood-fired pizzas. During our visit, we ordered a variety of pizzas to share, including a classic margarita, a spicy pepperoni, and a veggie supreme. We also tried their garlic bread and a few side dishes. The restaurant was packed with people, and the wait staff was constantly moving around, bringing food to tables and taking orders. We enjoyed our meal while chatting and laughing, soaking in the vibrant energy of the place. I feel this restaurant is a noisy place for several reasons. Firstly, the constant buzz of conversations from the many diners created a loud background noise. People were talking, laughing, and even occasionally cheering when they saw a pizza they liked. Secondly, the open kitchen added to the noise level, with chefs calling out orders and the sounds of pizza dough being tossed and ovens opening and closing. Additionally, there was background music playing to add to the lively atmosphere, which further contributed to the overall noise. Overall, the combination of the busy crowd, the active kitchen, and the background music made this pizza restaurant a very noisy but also an enjoyable and energetic place to dine. Describe an educational TV program that you have seen. You should say what the program is about. How often you watch this program. What type of people enjoy this program. And explain why this program is educational. What the program is about. Planet Earth, Natural World, Wildlife, Ecosystems. How often you watch this program. Often, especially new season slash episodes, rewatch favorite episodes. What type of people enjoy this program? Nature, wildlife, and environmental science enthusiasts, students, educators, families. Explain why this program is educational. Detailed and accurate information about animal species and habitats raises awareness about environmental issues, Advanced filming techniques enhance learning experience. One educational TV program that I have seen is Planet Earth. This documentary series is about the natural world and showcases the beauty and diversity of our planet's wildlife and ecosystems. I watch this program quite often, especially when a new season or episode is released. I also enjoy re-watching some of my favorite episodes from time to time, as they are not only informative but also visually stunning. The type of people who enjoy this program are those who have an interest in nature, wildlife, and environmental science. This includes students, educators, and anyone who appreciates high-quality documentaries. It is also popular among families, as it is suitable for viewers of all ages and provides a great way for parents and children to learn together. This program is educational for several reasons. Firstly, it provides detailed and accurate information about various animal species, their behaviors, and their habitats. The narration, often provided by experts like Sir David Attenborough, adds depth and context to the visuals. Secondly, it raises awareness about environmental issues such as climate change, habitat, destruction, and conservation efforts. By highlighting these topics, the program encourages viewers to think about the impact of human activities on the planet and the importance of preserving biodiversity. Additionally, the use of advanced filming techniques, such as time-lapse and high-definition cameras, allows viewers to see the natural world in ways that are not possible with the naked eye, making the learning experience even more engaging and impactful. Overall, Planet Earth combines stunning visuals with informative content, making it an excellent educational resource that inspires a greater appreciation for the natural world. Describe a foreigner who speaks your native language very well. You should say, who was that person? How he, she knows your language. Explain why he, she can speak your language well. How did you feel about it? Who was that person? Mark, from the United States. How he, she knows your language. Formal education, Hindi classes, daily practice with native speakers, 
watching Hindi movies, reading Hindi books, listening to Hindi music. Explain why he, she can speak your language well. Genuine interest in the language and culture, natural aptitude for languages, consistent practice and interaction with native speakers, willingness to learn from mistakes. How did you feel about it? Impressed and proud, easier and more enjoyable communication, inspired to improve my own language skills. One foreigner who speaks my native language, Hindi, very well is my friend, Mark. Mark is originally from the United States and has been living in India for several years. Mark learned Hindi through a combination of formal education and immersion. He initially took Hindi classes at a language institute when he first moved to India. Additionally, he made a conscious effort to practice speaking with native speakers on a daily basis. He also watched Hindi movies, read Hindi books, and listened to Hindi music, which greatly helped him improve his language skills. Mark can speak Hindi well for several reasons. Firstly, he has a genuine interest in the language and culture, which motivated him to learn it thoroughly. He also has a natural aptitude for languages, picking up new vocabulary and grammar rules quickly. Furthermore, his consistent practice and interaction with native speakers allowed him to understand the nuances and colloquial expressions of the language. He wasn't afraid to make mistakes and learn from them, which accelerated his learning process. I felt incredibly impressed and proud of Mark's ability to speak Hindi fluently. It's always fascinating to see someone from a different background embracing and mastering your native language. His proficiency in Hindi also made communication between us much easier and more enjoyable. It showed me the value of determination and immersion in learning a new language. I admired his dedication and felt inspired to improve my own language skills as well. 10. Describe a thing you bought and you are happy about. You should say what you have bought, why you have bought it. Explain why you felt happy about it, what you have bought. New laptop, high-performance model from a well-known brand. Why you have bought it. Old laptop was slowing down and malfunctioning, needed for assignments, research, online classes, and personal projects. Explain why you felt happy about it. Exceeded performance expectations, useful features, high-resolution screen, comfortable keyboard, lightweight, enhanced productivity and efficiency, sense of satisfaction and relief. One thing I bought recently and am very happy about is a new laptop. It is a sleek, high-performance model from a well-known brand, and it has significantly improved my productivity and overall computing experience. I bought this laptop because my old one was starting to slow down and malfunction. As a student, I rely heavily on my computer for assignments, research, and online classes. Additionally, I enjoy working on personal projects like photo editing and learning new software, which require a powerful machine. After much research and consideration, I decided to invest in a high-quality laptop that would meet all my needs and last for several years. Felt happy about this purchase for several reasons. Firstly, the laptop's performance exceeded my expectations. It runs smoothly, handles multiple tasks effortlessly, and has a long battery life, which is essential for my busy schedule. Secondly, the purchase came with several useful features such as a high-resolution screen, a comfortable keyboard, and a lightweight design, making it easy to carry around. Thirdly, this new laptop has enhanced my overall productivity and efficiency. Tasks that used to take a long time on my old computer are now completed quickly and seamlessly. Lastly, making this purchase gave me a sense of satisfaction and relief, knowing that I have a reliable tool to support my studies and personal interests. Overall, buying this laptop has been a worthwhile investment, and I am very pleased with its performance and the positive impact it has had on my daily life. Describe a time when you helped someone. You should say, where you helped slash her, why you helped her, how you helped her, and explain how you felt about the experience, where you helped her, at my neighbor's house, during harsh winter weather, 
why you helped her. Elderly lady living alone, struggles with heavy lifting and harsh weather. How you helped her. Took her grocery list and went to the supermarket, bought all needed items, carried groceries inside and organized them in her kitchen. Explain how you felt about the experience. Felt good and appreciated, fulfilled to make a positive impact, strengthened community sense, reminded of the importance of helping others. One time I helped someone was when I assisted my neighbor, Mrs. Sharma, with her grocery shopping. Mrs. Sharma is an elderly lady who lives alone and often struggles with heavy lifting and carrying groceries from the store to her home. I helped her last winter when the weather was particularly harsh, with icy roads and snow making it difficult for her to go out. One day, I saw her attempting to leave her house with a list in hand and a worried look on her face. I approached her and offered my help, knowing that the conditions were not ideal for her to be outside. I helped her by first taking her grocery list and heading to the nearby supermarket. I made sure to pick up all the items she needed, including fresh produce, dairy products, and other essentials. After purchasing the groceries, I brought them back to her house and carried the bags inside. Additionally, I took some time to organize the items in her kitchen, placing them in easy-to-reach places. I felt really good about the experience. Mrs. Sharma was extremely grateful and her warm smile and heartfelt thanks made me feel appreciated. It was fulfilling to know that I made a positive impact on her day and contributed to her well-being. Helping her not only eased her burden but also strengthened our sense of community. This experience reminded me of the importance of being attentive to the needs of others, especially the elderly, and how small acts of kindness can make a significant difference in someone's life. Describe an occasion you borrowed something from somebody. What was it? When did you borrow? Whom you borrowed it from? What you did with it? Why you borrowed it? What was it? Camera, high-end DSLR camera. When did you borrow, last year, a few days before a family vacation? Whom you borrowed it from? Friend, Rahul, photography enthusiast. What you did with it? Took hundreds of photos, captured landscapes, lakes, family moments, recorded videos. Why you borrowed it? Needed a good quality camera for documenting the vacation, own camera was outdated and not working properly. One occasion I borrowed something from somebody was last year when I borrowed a camera from my friend, Rahul. I needed a good quality camera to document a family vacation we were planning to a beautiful hill station. I borrowed the camera in the summer of last year, just a few days before our trip. My family had planned a week-long vacation to the mountains, and I wanted to capture the stunning landscapes and precious moments. Unfortunately, my own camera was outdated and not working properly, so I turned to Rahul for help. Rahul is a photography enthusiast and owns a high-end DSLR camera. When I explained my situation to him, he was more than happy to lend me his camera. He even gave me a quick tutorial on how to use it properly, as it had many advanced features that I wasn't familiar with. During the vacation, I used the camera to take hundreds of photos. I captured the breathtaking views of the mountains, the serene lakes, and the joyous moments spent with my family. The high quality of the camera made a significant difference, and the photos turned out beautifully. I also took some videos, which we later enjoyed watching together as a family. I borrowed the camera because I wanted to ensure that I could document our vacation with high-quality photos and videos. The experience was memorable, and having a good camera allowed me to capture the essence of the trip in a way that my old camera could not. Borrowing Rahul's camera made the vacation even more special, and I was very grateful for his generosity. Consultation for Professional Qualitative Classes To hit guaranteed target band score of 8 to 9 in a single attempt. Helpline number, plus 918360555364. WhatsApp, plus 91-836-055-5364.